Today, I'm gonna show you 10 companies that you can work from home with no experience needed. In fact, all of the jobs that I will mention in this video have been vetted by many others, and most of these companies have been around for quite some time. So given the whole economic situation, the US is beginning to open up more businesses. Some states be like, it was closed? But on a serious note, if you want a job working from home, this is the video for you. What's up winners? My name is Nam. If you're new here, welcome. Here we talk all things personal finance. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. So let's jump right into it. The companies that will be listing hire mostly from the US and Canada, but some of these companies will also hire worldwide. So just do your research before applying. On another note, these positions are mostly entry level jobs, but if you do have some experience, it will surely help. So let's kick things off with job number one, which is today's sponsor, Lionbridge. This company has a lot of positions in evaluation work. This is where you have to sign up for projects, take tests, and see if you get accepted into said job. Lionbridge has been around for 20 plus years and they've worked in more than 5,000 cities. So now let's hop into their website to see what they have open. This is where the homepage would look like. To find positions, go to the upper right hand corner where it says join our team and click on it. This will now bring you to a new window. When you scroll down, there are a few options that are available, such as corporate associates, raters, annotators, and testers, interpreters, and gaming. Whatever you are interested in, just click learn more. So in this example, I'm gonna click on raters, annotators, and testers. On the next window, click on view all opportunities. Now this is where you wanna filter out the positions of where you are located and what language you speak. In this example, I'll use the United States and click on Media App Search Analysts. This is a flexible job where you can do up to 20 hours a week by completing tasks in a web-based evaluation tool. Essentially, all you're doing is just evaluating App Store content search results. The requirements for this position is fairly simple. You gotta be fluent in English, live in the United States for at least one year, and have some familiarity with the App Store. Now, let's talk about what everybody wants to know. So concerning the pay, the potential earning for this program can be up to $11 per hour based on your activity levels on the program. Also, this is a part-time independent contractor work from home opportunity. So this is not a temporary position. The position will allow you to work from home on a flexible schedule of up to 20 hours per week, completing tasks on a web-based evaluation tool. There's currently no end date for this program. So for other job listings, always double check to see whether or not it is a temporary position, a part-time or a full-time job. Now let's move on to our next company, which is Satel. This company has been around for over 30 years now, and they mainly focus on call centers and customer support. So now let's hop onto the website to find a job. At the very top, click on careers and click on work from home. When you scroll to the very bottom of the website, it will tell you exactly what type of equipment you will need to work from home. Most work from home jobs will require you to have a separate computer, fast enough internet connection, and also an approved USB headset. Now click on the link, find a work from home job. This will bring you to a new window where it'll show you all the positions available throughout the United States. Most of the positions available will be for customer service and they also have positions for insurance work. So let me give you guys an example of a property and casualty insurance position. With this position, you can earn up to $18 an hour, but here's the caveat. Your starting wage is around $13 an hour, but with performance incentives, you're gonna earn an extra $5. So this will equal to about $18 an hour. The great thing about this job is that you do not need any experience or even a license. The only minimum that you would need is to have a high school diploma and get a background in drug screening done. Let's keep it moving with company number three, which is Alcorea. To all my people abroad, this company offers work from home jobs internationally. This is a well-established company with over 100 locations across the world and 50% of the Fortune 500 healthcare companies are their clients. So this company is pretty good at what they do. Now let's find some work from home positions. When you hop into the website, at the very top corner, let's click on careers. As you scroll down, just pick on the continent of where you live. There will be another window where you have to click on this button so you can search for openings. When you get to the next window, this is where you scroll down, then they will show you different categories of what are available. This ranges anywhere between customer service at home, site operations, human resources and recruiting, and others. So let's go back up and find a job. So I plugged in work from home agents within the US. So at the making of this video, most of the positions available are for customer service representatives and for those who are bilingual. So after doing some research on positions and their pay, it seems like it ranges anywhere between 13 to $14 an hour. There are also requirements for you to work at least 15 to 20 hours per week. So similar to previous companies, as long as you're over the age of 18, have a high school diploma or a GED, and some basic computer knowledge, you should meet the minimum requirements. Now let's keep it moving with our fourth company, which is Conduent. This is a company that allows other companies to outsource some of their work. 
So in most cases, they run call centers and other customer service support specialties. Let's take a look at what positions that they do have open. So let's hop onto their website and at the very top corner, just click careers. On the next window, click on career search. In most cases, it's probably much easier to find work from home jobs for customer service or call center associates. But anyways, you can filter out positions by location, your country or your state. And also there are little areas where you can filter out work from home. So now let's talk about the pay. Based on my research on glassdoor.com, the base pay for customer associates is roughly around $13 an hour. I really couldn't find any other numbers on the website. So just take these numbers just with an estimation. But a good thing that I did find about jobs that are open is that most of these are Monday through Friday and full time. But unfortunately, I could not find anywhere on the website whether or not benefits are provided, such as medical or dental, or even a retirement plan. So this is something best to contact Conduit directly about. Now let's keep it moving with our fifth company, which is Amazon. Currently at the making of this video, Amazon is hiring seasonal work from home customer service associates. The caveat here is that you must live in one of the following states. I will have them on the screen right now so you guys can take a pause to see if you qualify. So with this role, you are expected to work 40 hours per week and possibly up to 60 hours if needed. Amazon has customer service 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So the time that you work may vary, so it is possible that you may work even at the break of dawn or even a graveyard shift. Now let's talk about the pay. This position pays you $15 an hour and you also can get overtime pay, which is one and a half times the base rate. Plus you get employee discounts. But here's the thing with Amazon that other companies do not mention. Amazon will ship you a laptop, headset, and all of the necessary equipment for you to do your job. This is a pretty sweet deal if you don't have a laptop or a workstation already. Now let's switch things up a little bit with our next company, which is Liberty Mutual. If you guys never heard of Liberty Mutual, this is a company that provides insurance for all different types of needs. This includes auto, property, commercial, and casualty, just to name a few. Instead of the jobs where I talk about customer service, at Liberty Mutual, they have these positions too, but they also have remote sales jobs. If you're more of a go-getter or have great personal communication skills, sales can make you a lot of money. So let's quickly go over the job description of a remote inside sales representative. What you will be doing is basically handing inbound calls driven by TV, internet, mail, and third-party marketing. Now let's break down the pay details. They said that you can get a $5,000 signing bonus, uncapped monthly sales incentive with an average monthly range of roughly around two to $3,000 a month. They also said that you can make anywhere between $55 to $70,000 within the first year. You also get a starting base of roughly around $30,000 which is pretty great if you guys want that security. With sales, the sky is really the limit, but they said that the top sales rep makes over 100K annually. But before you apply for this position, just make sure that the position is available for your state. This is one of the few jobs on the list that requires some experience. You need to have at least one year in sales or customer service. If you like the stability, this is a traditional nine to five job and you also get access to benefits such as retirement, medical, dental, and others. Now let's keep it moving with our next company, which is Walgreens. Walgreens is a retail pharmacy chain similar to CVS or Rite Aid. While I was doing my research, they got multiple positions for call center specialists. The position is pretty straightforward, all you would have to do is provide customer service support for Walgreens. But some of the qualifications that you do need to meet is be at least 18 years or older, have a high school diploma or a GED, and some basic computer skills and typing skills. You also gotta be living in some of the following states. I'll list a bunch of them right here on the screen so you can pause and take a look if you qualify. While well, I do prefer you to have at least one year of customer service, but it is not a requirement. Based on the information that I found on Indeed.com, you can expect to get paid anywhere between 12 to $13 an hour. Now let's keep it moving with company number eight, which is Comcast. Comcast is a cable internet company that's very similar to Charter, Cox, and Spectrum. So while I was researching work from home positions for Comcast, they have quite a few. You can be a customer service rep or a sales rep. Each position, they will have their own pay rates and compensation. But in a nutshell, if you wanted to be a customer service rep, the base pay you should expect is roughly around $15. Plus there's very minimal requirements like some high school coursework and no experience is needed. If you wanted to do virtual sales, you can expect a base pay of roughly around $12 but you also get commission. So your hourly rate can be as high as $21. So for this position, I really did not see any state requirements of where you need to live, but for a customer service rep, you do need to live in a qualified state. All right, so now let's keep it moving with our next company, which is Okari. This company is kind of like a network that gather all the teaching jobs available where you make a profile and apply for each one of them individually. So the kind of teaching that you will be doing will be ESL to students abroad. The target demographics for your students will be mainly K through 12, but it's possible business professionals as well. Based on most of the job descriptions that I did find, most of the kids will range anywhere between five to 15. These students will be coming from Asian countries. So this would include China, Taiwan, 
and possibly others. Based on my research, you have pretty flexible hours. Since you will be teaching English to kids in China, you have to plan your schedule accordingly. From what I saw, the pay is pretty great. A part-time individual can get paid anywhere between $16 to $25 an hour, and each class runs around 20 to 45 minutes. So the jobs that will be listed are kind of contract-based, so you have to set a schedule for a period of time until you pick up a new class. But now let's go over some of the requirements. The majority of positions available do require you to have at least a bachelor's degree and above but you do not need to have a teaching certificate to be eligible to teach. So if you have a four-year degree and you're interested in teaching others, you should go check them out. Now, this brings me to our next company, which is Daily Transcription. This one is a little bit different compared to the jobs I mentioned before, because this one's for individuals who know how to type. Being a transcriber is fairly flexible work. There are a lot of positions for independent contractors, so this may not be as stable compared to a nine to five or even a part-time job. So it's really difficult to say how much you will be earning, but based on their website, they report that their top transcriptionists can earn anywhere between $250 to $950 a week. Well, since they mentioned this is their top transcriptionist, I imagine you will get paid a lot lower when starting out. Some requirements that they will need from you is to be able to pass a skills assessment test, and you need to type at least 50 words per minute or faster. As for the equipment needed, it is pretty basic, you just need to download a program and have a good pair of headphones. Well, you may want to get a foot pedal to make your job a little bit easier, but it is not a requirement. Sorry for my international viewers, but this position only allows individuals to live in the US or Canada, and you got to be over the age of 18 years old. Now, I want to turn it over to you. Which jobs from today's video are you going to try first? Are you going to try out being a media app evaluator on LionBridge or a sales agent with Liberty Mutual? Let me know by leaving a comment below right now. I'll see you guys in my next videos.